Right now in Archer Heights, a community meeting is underway with the hopes of making this stretch of Pulaski safer. We've been listening to residents concerns over traffic safety here for years. These are just some of the recent crashes in that area. As our Andrew Ramos reports, people who live and drive in the area are looking for solutions. Traffic safety has long been an issue for many small businesses and residents who live here along Pulaski Road on the southwest side. And with more than 650 crashes and three fatalities so far this year, community now pushing for change. The high pace and at times deadly activity along Pulaski Road is nothing new to Adrian Zamudio. You see a lot of lights being blown, people driving down the median. Since opening his pizzeria more than 30 years ago, he says the problems have only gotten worse. It's getting crazier and crazier. As soon as it gets a little dark, you know, it turns into a race course. It's a race course that stretches from 40th to 71st Street across three neighborhoods where so far this year, a total of 665 crashes have been reported that resulted in 136 injuries and three fatalities. Vehicles crashing into buildings happen on a regular basis, like this truck smashing into a dealership this past May. A month before that, two people were struck at 63rd by a car traveling at a high speed. And then earlier this year, a CPS staffer struck and killed in a hit and run on 64th Street. From the moment people get on and off the ramp at Stevenson to get to the expressway, they're pretty much speeding all the way to 71st. Alex Perez of the Active Transportation Alliance was part of a team that conducted an online survey that got more than 450 responses, asking community members to identify safety concerns along Pulaski. A big reason for why speeding is happening is just the number of lanes that are on Pulaski and how wide it is. So there's about three to four lanes. All those lanes, according to those who have responded, encourage drivers to speed in an effort to catch the light. The organization also conducted a walk audit that gathered information from 50 participants on their experience of a stroll along the roadway. It's not the safest road or the quietest road to be on. A meeting set for Tuesday night at Curry High School will address all the concerns from the community and they will also present some safety recommendations. Now an actual timeline of when these changes will be implemented remains unclear. Reporting in Archer Heights, Andrew Ramos, CBS News Chicago.